Welcome to PC Mac. Today we are going to install Plex Media Server on Open Media Vault 5 with the help of Docker and Portainer. So let's do it. First of all, let's just go ahead and open our Open Media Vault 5 as you can see here and then just go to OMV Extras and use docker and open web now i am logged into my portainer let's go ahead and click on containers from here and let's start adding a container so the image that we are using for this project is linux server plex and you just need to check whether it's available for Raspberry Pi or not so you can just check the architecture that it's available for ARM 64 Now what we need to do is just copy it from here like that And go to portainer and paste it right here So either you can use the container option and select this option enable it always pull the image Otherwise just go to images and download the image for the Plex container now let's just type plex here now we need to move down and go to volumes in case of volumes what we require is just let me show you from docker compose that we require config tv and movie so we need to create these three folders in our nas server let me just go ahead and show you So I have created one folder with the name containers and inside that I have created Plex. So the config is here, movies is here, TV is here and you can also create photos and some other folders as well that you can bind with other options in Plex server. Now let's go ahead and go back to portainer and configure these folders. So we need four folders here you need to click on bind and let's start config movies tv and then one more container that we want to create its transcode so what the transcode will do it will convert the files that is suitable for Plex to work on like if the file is in some other format it will convert it into a suitable format that can be identified by Plex server and that can be playable on the Plex media server now let's put the path so we need to go here and then we need to copy it from here because we have installed our docker on our external drive now let's just paste it here and I have created the folder containers and inside that the name is plex and then config so this is the path now let's go ahead and copy this path to all these spaces and inside config just change it to tv and here we need to type movies and the transcode will be available under config so this is done now we need to go into network from here it require network mode host so we need to select host from here after that go to environment and here we require PUID PGID version and these two are optional if you want to set them that's okay if you want to leave them just you can leave them as it is so we will configure these four options and we can also configure time zone as well if you want you can do that otherwise just leave it as it is so let's just go ahead and do that and let's find out our PUID and PGID for that we need to log in to our SSH 
let's log in with the root now just type id and the username that you are using so in my case the username is pc mac so we need to configure it like that id and then pc mac so the uid is 1001 and the gid is 100 so let's just go ahead and put that now we need to go into restart policy and select unless stopped as mentioned here restart unless stopped now let's go back to portainer and then just click on deploy the container it will take a moment to deploy the container in between you can also access our website and i have documented everything regarding this tutorial you will find the document right here plex media server on open media world 5 inside docker with portainer using raspberry pi 4 i have documented everything here you can go ahead and check it out with docker compose and with the pictorial view if you are not able to find it anything on the video you can always visit the website if you have any problem you can also chat with us on our official telegram chat or if you are to donate anything to our channel so you can go ahead and do that on our paypal account you can also follow us on patreon.com and go ahead and subscribe to our channel now let's just go back here and check whether the image is running or not so it start running now how we can access our plex media server what we need to do is we need to type our open media vault address then colon and three two four hundred forward slash web that's the path that we want to use and hit enter once we do that you can see that we are logged in so i have already logged into my account and i have configured movies and tv show so if you want to configure other accounts as well what you need to do is just go into settings and from here just go to libraries and then add library so i have put some pictures let's click on photos and then next and browse for media folder and then select the folder that we have created so as you can see that we have only config movies transcode is also available so these are the folders but we don't have the folder for our photos so we can also add it up container anytime or container anytime we just need to open it stop the container like just like that and uh, let me just show you that we have some pictures or not so here is plex and uh, photos and i have put some photos here so let me just show you so we just go ahead and mount it again so what you need to do is just click on duplicate add it go to volume again and map additional volume bind so the folder is photos and we can just go ahead and bind it so it's bind now what we need to do is just click on deploy the container and replace it so you need to make sure that the container is stopped whenever you are making any changes to it then it will be done easily now let's go back here and then just refresh the container refresh the plex server and again click on add library select photos next now you will see a photos folder here just click on that and you can see all the content of this folder just click on add and add library similar to that if you want to access or add music is into your plex you can just do the same thing you can go ahead and bind the folder into plex plex volumes by editing here by stop it and edit the container and add the folder over there now plex is working let's just click on home and more from here you can see we have the photos you can see the photos as well we have the movies as well now one more quick thing that I want to show you is about transcode how you can do that so here is transcoder 
now if you want to put a path here you just need to copy the path from here so the transcoder path is here just copy it and paste it here and save the changes now again go back to home let's try to play so there is some problem with this movie i need to put some other movies here but the photos are working absolutely fine you can see the pictures let me just put some movies here and show you the whether it's working or not uh, one more movie here on our plex server the last one is not working because it's not copied successfully so i have copied this one ford versus ferrari let's try to play whether it's working or not so you can see it's working absolutely fine so let's just go ahead and close it so guys this is the way you can install plex media server on open media vault 5 with the help of talker if you have any problems any questions you can ask me in the comment section if you like my work please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon share this video with your family and friends thank you for watching bye bye take care have a nice day